Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Winston Yap, Singapore Dance Director. How many of you have had lunch yet? Okay, okay. All of you have lunch. Good. How's lunch? Bagus? Uh, if Bagus say Bagus. 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 Very good. Okay. So my name is Winston. Uh, I want to thank Jeunesse for having me here. And it's not every day that you get to speak on stage, you know, and, uh, and to really be able to share something that you can actually help a lot of people. Today, uh, I'm going to share with you guys about the future of e-commerce. Uh, e-commerce is changing and it's going to keep changing, just like mobile phones. Anyone here used to use Pager? Okay. Anyone saw Motorola Pager became Nokia? Alright. And when we talk Nokia, everyone is using cell phones, there's not going to be a change. There's going to be another change. It evolved to smartphones, right? So likewise for e-commerce, uh, I think your your shop on uh, Leilong, right? Who shop on say Leilong? Leilong, Lazada, Q10, you know, all this, okay, in Malaysia. So, but what is it going to change into? Okay, so this is the topic. Is what I'm going to be covering you guys, and hopefully I can help you open up your eyes and see where the next evolution of e-commerce will become. So uh, I think e-commerce sales has been increasing every single year throughout the, throughout the world. So we might probably think that, you know what, uh, let's do this a bit more interactive here, okay? How many of you guys here think that you know, e-commerce is everywhere now? Can you show your hands? Just like, I, I, just like cell phone was everywhere back then, okay? And how many things that, uh, how many things that maybe e-commerce now is a bit too late, it's all too saturated because everybody's doing it? Can you show your hands? Who thinks it's uh, like saturated really, you know? Because everybody's doing it already. Anyone thinks that way? Okay. So today, I'm not going to be the main speaker. Okay, that's the good news. <laughs> the good news is, I invited a friend of mine who doesn't know who I am. Who am I. But this friend of mine is going to share with you what the future of e-commerce is. Because he owns the largest e-commerce on the planet. Does anybody know who is this person? Uh, wow. Who? Jack Ma. Jack Ma, yes. Ma Yun. So Ma Yun did a, a talk about future of e-commerce just last year, late last year. So I'm going to show a clip from him. So he's going to share with you whether e-commerce is saturated or not, alright? So I'm just going to go to the side and you guys just watch this and do take notes. This is the future. I will tell you 10, 20 years later, all of these things will be natural. Everyday things could be like. If you hit the sweet point, if your product's good, if your service is good, your products will have to sell because they're billion. Today, the whole world is about 1.8 billion people online, right? And only less than like 800 million people shopping online. We believe next to 20 years, they were adding another 3 billion people online. And at that, in the next to 10, 20 years, 60% of the people will shop online. So e-commerce is just a beginning. So e-commerce is just what? The beginning. The beginning, that's right. So we just keep, we are not even going to the tip of the iceberg yet, okay? We just started. And he says, uh, if your product is good, it will have to sell. So how many think Jeanette's product is bullet? Alright, see from your phone I know already. Any one of you actually got younger after using Jeanette's products? Okay. So it will have to sell, okay? Whether you like it or not. So today I'm going to be covering about what the future model of e-commerce will be. It's like, you know, it's like me telling you right now, you're all using Motor Motorola, Sony Ericsson, and you know, and uh, and Nokia. So I'm going to tell you what the future of cell phone will become. So I think all of you shop on Lazada, Leo, right? These are called traditional e-commerce model. So where is the next e-commerce model going to become? Do you want to know? You want to know? Yes. All right. So I'm going to show you. And if you want to do an online e-commerce model and you want to market any product, which is the most profitable way to market any product in the future, you will learn that as well. Okay? And uh, and which market is the most profitable market to go in that even big companies are going into right now? Okay? So Mark Zuckerberg and Jeff Bezos will tell you how do you market the products in the which is the what we call the holy grail of marketing. We know that we're in network marketing, right? So marketing is important, right? So what's the holy grail? I'll let you know that. So let's listen. If you are not... Okay, so let's listen to this, what the future e-commerce will become. If you are not globalized company, 
you will never be able to survive easily. And if you do not use the internet to globalize, not the necessary Alibaba. If you do not use the internet to globalize your business, you will not have chance. If you do not know C to B, because last century manufacturing is by the B to C. In the future, it's got a C to B, consumer to business. So all the model is going to change. Every small business, all the young people here, think globally, think big. You only in the future, in the past, you only do things. In your, if you do things in your only small county, your small tiny business. Small business can leverage the internet technology, leverage the market, go across the board. Think big and think out of the boundary. This is a prime minister. I absolutely agree with that. It's going to change the whole world. A lot of jobs is losing. A lot of new jobs are coming up. And I want to tell you that for all these small business entrepreneurs, remember one thing. 80% of the small business in the future must be globalized. If you are not globalized the company, you will never be able to survive so in the next 10 20 years. If you do not know how to do online business, it's going to be just like 10 years ago. If you do want to do international trade, you don't know how to speak English, it's tough. But of course, when you know how to speak in English, does not mean you can do good business. <laughs> the other thing that I want to talk about is globalization is opportunity for everybody. Okay, so he talk about the future of e-commerce will be what? C to B model. B to C means you have B means you have liabilities, you have expenses. A traditional e-commerce company has expenses. Right? Uh, normal retail business already go online is an evolution already. That's a big change already. It reduces expenses, but you still have expenses. So it's still B to C. Whereas in Genes business, I build my business in 60 countries, but I have zero staff increase, zero salary increase, zero operating cost increase. I got zero increase, and so does all of you. Can we give Genes a round of applause? Jack Ma was preaching about the future of e-commerce last year, but we already are the future of e-commerce. Genes yeah. is a C to B model, where every one of us are a consumer, but we can build the business. It's the consumer that build the business, not the business that go out and get the consumer. And the future of this, every small business must be able to cross border. Now, how many of you know that in your Genes business, you can cross border? Yes. How many countries? 150. How many? 150. 148, that's right. So we can already expect more than 140 countries instantly. All you need is follow what Patrick teach you yesterday. Do you remember what Patrick taught you? So quiet. Do you remember now? Use what? Facebook, that's right. Okay? So 80% of a business must be globalized in the future. If not, you will not survive. That's exactly what Jack Ma said. Right, so Jack Ma is also the largest, he can see from the top view, and most of you may not be able to see it, but if he say it, it, it will really come true. Alright? So take note of that. So you're not gonna do Pasimalam business. <laughs> Pasimalam is only in one place in Malaysia, in a in a small place along, along the road. <laughs> Alright, Pasimalam. We are doing global Pasimalam. <laughs> okay? <laughs> I don't know, is that a good way to put it? <laughs> so, so last time, I used to teach people about how to start e-commerce business, you know, and I told people, I said, you know what, yeah, actually, just curious, how many of you want to make a lot of money online and you want to know the future, all right, because if you, if you do what is it now, you do what everybody is doing now, that means you are not in the future, you cannot make the big money. The big money is always to people who can see before other people can see, agree? Yeah, when Jack Ma was talking about e-commerce, everybody says he's crazy. Now, you want people to say you're crazy, yes. like Jack Ma, yes. then you can become very successful. Agree? Yes. Agree. Alright, but not, not the kind of crazy that go to mental hospital. Huh? Okay, so I used to tell people, this is how you know if this is a good market to go in. So I use people to teach people this Google keyword tool, you know, Google allows you to do research. 
and ask you people to go to this thing called Google Trends, where you can type in any word that you want, any product that you want to sell, and you put it up there, okay? And Google Trends will actually tell you uh, what's the trend. If it goes up, that means more and more people are searching for that product, so that you know that this product has demand before you actually find supply. All right, and then one of my friends who's a Google engineer told me this. He said, you know what, but doing this will not let me know which is the largest market or the biggest business to do in the future. Doing this will not let me know. I said, why? I, I thought I was very smart, you know. I mean, is it very smart to you know, use this tool and know that what business can do before you do? Yeah, you already know that what people are searching for. So I'm going to ask all of you, how many of you right now, when you have any question, the first thing you ask is Google. The first person you ask is Google, not your husband, your wife, or children anymore. <laughs> Right, so Google is your everything now. In fact, Google knows you better than you know yourself. Right, what you secretly search, nobody knows, but Google knows. Right, so since Google knows what the whole world is searching for, would you say that Google knows what could be the best business going to because they know what the whole world is searching for? Except for China, right? Does it make sense? Yes. Alright, so my friend says, actually, all you have to do is you don't need to use keyword tool. You want a shortcut? You want a shortcut? No? Yes. You want to to know which business in the future will make you the most money? You want to know? Yes. Okay. So, Jack, so this guy, my friend, and he said this. All you need to do is say, look at where Google is putting most of their money into. Okay? So, I said, well, I think they put most of their money into acquiring companies. Right? We know that, right? So, he says, well, but there is certain areas that he put in more than a billion dollars into and into a startup. And you want to know what industry that is? That industry is health tech, not device, but product solutions, like what we're doing here. He put in $1.5 billion into research to create for diseases like cancer or Alzheimer's, you know, $1.5 billion. And the interesting part is Google's enemy, who is Apple, you know Apple, right? Yeah. So Apple is uh, like Android versus iOS, and then you have like uh, Google Chrome versus Safari. So they have different operating systems that compete each other, different phone as well. However, the chairman of is chairman bigger or CEO better? I'm just curious. Yes. Who is bigger, chairman or CEO? Yeah. Chairman. chairman, yes. The chairman of Google, of Apple, Arthur Levinson, went to become Kelly Coast health tech company's CEO. If this were not to be something so big, would they do it together? But later I'm going to show you something even bigger than this. So not only that, then I found out Amazon, Jeff Bezos, and Peter Thiel also went to health tech. Oracle founder Larry Ellison just donated $370 million into health tech. Oh, chefs, I should have. By the way, now you know. Mark Zuckerberg himself invested $3 billion into health tech, more than Google and Apple combined. $3 billion. I think if we add up all our salary here together for the next three generations or ten generations, I don't think still can hit three billion. <laughs> How many know that? <laughs> so if all of you here, the ten generation all put the income together, you still cannot have three billion, and that is the amount of money that he invested. What do you think? Do you think this is the industry to be in? Yes. Yes. All right, and I, I can tell you why. Because the whole world public, I mean even Alibaba as well, okay, is putting a couple billion dollars into this. Now the reason being is because the whole world is aging. And in the not too long, which is 20, 30 years from now, there will be more old people than people working in the workforce. Uh, which is where we are also moving towards with AI. AI just removed about a million jobs from China last year because of AI. Alright? So uh, people will lose jobs, but they're going to be old pe a lot of old people. So old people need help, right? So this is where we come in. So we already positioned ourselves ahead of time. And like Singapore, this I don't know about Malaysia, but in Singapore, the number of 65 years old and above is now equal to the number of 15 year old and below. And in the next 12 years, the number of old people will like almost double. And the young people, with number of being 15 year olds and below will keep dropping. And actually you can see this in our Singapore government budget. Our Singapore government budget puts money in two major areas. The first major area is, uh, is into innovation and technology, so new technologies. The second biggest is aging, into aging, solving aging problems. And where our government is, you know, Singapore always think, try to think 10, 20 years ahead of time, right? We always plan 20 years ahead, right? Yeah. So, 
So we are very blessed that today we are working. You know, Genesis doesn't have our, their own R&D. No, we are working with the worst, most advanced scientists and doctors to supply us the technology that we can help them market. And we have people like Dr. Vincent Jibaba who's got a Nobel Prize nomination twice. He's got a, he's a Thomas Edison awardee. He's got an awardee for the first AI for measuring aging. And he's published on five books on Amazon and has over 24 patents in regenerative medicine. You know, can you imagine? You can regenerate. It's like science fiction, right? But that's exactly what stem cells does, right? Yeah. We are regenerating thanks to Christian Dupu. Right? Yeah. Yes, thank you. He's got a Gatti Peace Prize body. He's consulting for NASA. He has 34 years research in, in uh, surgery and stem cells. So these are the people that we, that Genesis brings in would not only have products that are proven, but are proven backed by science. And that is always one thing. When you go to any out there, any shop out there, first thing is to ask, is who is the doctor behind it? No doctor, no you look really. Who is doctor behind Where is the science behind it? Is there a research paper just like us, whatever we show you, there's a research paper behind it, right? So if they don't have any of this, you can show it out. Right, so Dr. Lindman is a world renowned stem cell. Uh, he's one of the first person about nine years ago, the first doctor in the world, to use one of the first doctor in the world to use stem cell to help someone with no jawbone to regenerate, to grow back the whole jawbone. I mean, that, is, that itself is like a miracle itself, right? But that's where we are right now. So, uh, and then we have our Christian Dufour that you heard from him, right? He's got several books on, um, on Amazon, you know, the best selling on Amazon. And very good, he's authored three stem cell books on Amazon. Uh, his research in the area of stem cell production from bone marrow. His uh, stem cell products support the body's regenerative medicine again, regenerative, right? Natural regeneration, right? He's got a master's in neuro neurology and uh, oops, and neurosurgery, okay. And then, how many of you know Dr. William Anzalek? Yes. Yes, okay. So if you watch all his videos, if you go YouTube and you search for Longevity TV, he actually goes through every single product. Every single product that needs an explanation is all there. Alright? You don't have to, you can find one explanation how reserve works. You don't have to be a scientist. Even if you are a scientist, you don't have the credibility, people also don't believe you. Correct? Alright? So, I always tell people this. I, I, I like to joke about this. I, I'm, I'm not an, I, first of all, I want to confess this. I'm not an expert at, uh, at I don't have a PhD in IT. Okay? I don't have a PhD in, 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 in business, but I do have a PhD. My, my PhD is Polytechnic Halfway Dropout. <laughs> That's my PhD. Anyone here has a PhD? I, I'm only an expert at doing genetics. That's all I can tell you, okay? So, Alright, so he's the author of Promise on Jeffy, degree in. Uh, and the cellology, intensive care, Chinese medicine, 40 years of research in latest cutting edge technology. And then we have, so Jeunesse doesn't just want you to restore back your health. They want you to, to, have, to be healthy for the rest of your life. And the rest of your life, that's why we have uh, Mark McDonald on board with us, right? The, they not just want you to be healthy, no disease, but they want all of us to become super fit. Can you imagine if every day you are full of life, you wake up energy and you're, you're fit? That's why we have Mark McDonald on board to help us. And he's on Dr. Oz's show many times. He's on CNN every, you know, every few months he's there, alright? So we have a world, he's a world-renowned nutrition and fitness expert for celebrities. He has helped two people achieve Olympics in two different sports. Achieve gold in Olympics in two different sports. Now, if you have a coach like that beside you, will you become fit fast? Yes. Right? Yeah, and Jeunesse got him on board with us. I mean, his reputation is also important. It's because he saw what Jeunesse is doing, he wants to be part of it. Because being part of Jeunesse not only makes, every, makes everybody better. It's better for him because he associates with the right technology that helps him as well. And, and he brings his, uh, he's also the founder of International Board of Nutrition and Fitness Coaching. Now, you do, usually, causes out there, they uh, have like nutritionists. You study nutritionists, right? Then you become a nutritionist. But a lot of nutritionists are, are not fit. Then you have people who are trainers, physical train, phys fitness trainer, and then they go and uh, do fitness, but they're very good at only fitness. Uh, what he has, he is the founder of the International Board of Nutrition and Fitness Coaching, and has trained more than a thousand coaches already, certified more than a thousand people. This, thank you. 
social media, which is what we're doing right now, e-commerce just means that online payment, that's it, okay? Online buy product offline and our C2C model. So imagine right now I'm in Singapore and you're living in, or maybe you're living in Malaysia, okay? So I'm in China right now. You can send your website to me in China and our website automatically translates to Chinese and I can go online to buy products from you and once I buy, you get a profit immediately. But after that, whenever I repeat purchase for every about 100 US dollars, products that I buy, you get 60 points. And I can share my website link to anybody. So everyone is just a customer. Nobody in Jeunesse needs to keep any stock. Neither do I do delivery, neither do we do customer service. Right? So our only job is just to use your mouth, open your mouth, that's it. Open your mouth because my sponsor opened her mouth. That's why today she retired. <laughs> Yes, just open your mouth. <laughs> open your mouth, but I don't want to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, if this guy in, in South Africa bought 10 products, 600 points, who gets the 600 points? Everybody along the chain. And I, I give you a tip on how to add on to Facebook. You want to know how? Yes. Yes. Okay, so you have a team, right? Yes. Here's what you should do. You know, all of you, when you buy on things online, do you look read reviews? Is reviews important to you? Yes. Dude, when you buy, you always make sure there's five star review first, right? Yes. Yeah, it also must have been many people review, right? Yes. And also, if it's four star, you want to read why the people never give five star, right? <laughs> do you do that? I do that in Singapore. Do you do that in Malaysia? Yes. Yeah. So, how to do that? Imagine this person here in Africa, right? He set up a Facebook page. Set up a Facebook page is free, right? He set up a Facebook page and he needs review for, let's say, promoting uh, reserve or whatever. He needs review, right? If this is all of you here, will all of you give him a good review on his Facebook page? Yes. Yes, that will actually give him a lot of good review, right? And then he don't need to talk so much. He just tells a friend, okay, I don't, I don't want to talk to you so much, okay? I don't need to convince you. You just go and read the review. Okay, reading a review is like what at all? It's like, it's like you go to a, a food court, uh, and then you see a long queue. And then, uh, you see other stores uh, give discount, but no queue. The long queue one, uh, more expensive. Which one you go on? Uh? <laughs> long queue, yeah! So you can create long queue online. Just by leveraging on all your people above you to help you give review, you know? I mean, genuine review, you know? And then you can actually, but to do this, to get passive income, right, you need at least two stores, two, two stores, right? So, uh, and then the stores will recommend to someone who's a user, who's a user around the world, 300 points, everyone gets 300 points, you know, and you can get 35 dollars for every 600 and 300 points accumulated from the purchase of those products. And these products will sell by itself. Every time promo, everyone grab one. Okay? So the max we can make from this, this uh, having expansion of stores to 148 countries is 26,250 years a week, which is 52 times a year. Is 26,250 US, US a week? Is it a lot in Malaysia? Yes. It's how many times? Four. Four times. Wow, four times, 52 times a year. So you calculate that, right? So that's, that will change a lot of things for everyone, okay? And yet everyone, because of you sharing, because you open your mouth, not only you become richer, but it help everyone that you open your mouth become younger <laughs> and healthier and have more stem cells in your body, right? So they all live longer. So if they live longer, they have to thank you. They thank you. We get to share what technology that Christian Dupro has. I mean, what else can you ask for, right? The most difficult of... Okay, so I want to show you uh, more stuff about what Jack Ma shares about. The most difficult thing in this world is to convince successful people. They will tell you, oh no, we've been doing that for years. Don't, don't tell me the internet is works. But it's easy and it's good. To, to help those people who want to be successful. We believe by helping young people, helping small business, and helping empower women, we will have the future. The, the difference between last century and this century, the difference between IT and DT is, IT empower yourself, DT empower others. When you help others, you are helping yourselves. This is what we believe. So, our business is IT or DT? DT. Yes, we 
empower you know, that's, that's why we are here for us to empower you. So he's really talking about the future. So our business is in e-commerce, C2B, to more than 48 countries. We are the largest fast, we are in the largest, fastest growing market segment that all the huge companies are secretly moving into, which I know some of you are hearing those news for the first time, but they've already been there. And we are using the most effective way to market, which is word of mouth and to social proof. To many people of us talking online about the products. People love to see success so how to they, sorry, So how to succeed is not to... A lot of people are successful, but they are in the past. Like Nokia is successful, that's why they are not... They cannot become iPhone. Right? If you follow... If follow people are already successful, you need to follow what the future of people are going to become successful. So how to succeed in this business? In any business? Let's hear from Jack Ma that will end off. People love to see successful stories. But most of the success stories, they succeed because of the mistakes. I encourage all the young people, entrepreneurs, to learn from the mistakes. Do not study successful stories. Successful, successful stories in the Harvard Business School, not only, you know, there are a lot of things behind you don't know. But if you learn from the mistakes, if you learn, especially the famous case studies, it's going to help you. What I want to say is not about you. You learn from mistakes does not mean you avoid mistakes. You will learn the attitude towards these mistakes and never give up fighting again. Of course, it's been very painful when you are rejected, when you are refused. I went to all the around the room looking for money. Nobody gave us the money. I all go around looking for partnerships. Nobody believed small business and e-commerce in China were the work. So this is what we did as an entrepreneur. We never complain. When people complain, the opportunity comes. So if you can solve the complaints, that is your opportunity. We think in the future there will be a virtual economy that will enable every individual, every small business, they can global sell, global buy, global pay, global deliver, and global tour, travel around. This is the one most people seeing is believing, but real entrepreneurs and leaders, we believe that we see. We believe the future, then we will see the future. So if you believe that you can do it, you should continue to do it and wait and fight for at least 80 years, if not 18 years. I to the difference it. between big company and small company is not about revenue, it's about the dream. The small companies have the dreams. Most of the big companies, when they get certain size, they only have KPI. So if you fight only for next quarter, how can you survive in such a turbulent times? You have to believe the future. You have to continue to the future. You have to stay focused. As I said to myself early days, if there are nine rabbits on the ground, if you want to catch the rabbit, don't change the rabbit, change yourself. Stick to one rabbit. If you have the dream, stick to the dream. That is what I believe. All right, can we give you a round of applause? Where are, what are the mistakes that we made along the way, all right? And how many of you have a dream? Like in China, like China said just now, right? Go after your dream, stick to one rabbit, stick to one genus, one team, one family. Thank you, my name is Winston.